Hi, this is Laura Turner, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to spot bad directing in a play. Um, if you are a theater critic and you're watching a play, you're going to sit there and you're going to actually try to figure out what's making the play work and what's working against the play. Um, sometimes you may mistake a bad script for bad directing and vice versa. So today I'm going to give you a couple of hints as to perhaps maybe it's, it's the directing that is at fault and not um, some other aspect of the show. Um, any unmotivated action or blocking, um, any unmotivated movement by the actors. Um, an actor uh, moves to a chair in the middle of the room and sits. you're getting to the climactic scene um, of a play that you know and that you have read, this is, kind of works a little better when plays that are not new, plays that you have read and have seen. Um, you get to the most important scene of the play and the director upstages it by having something else go on in the background that you're going to be watching. Um, number three, randomness in the set design or the costuming. Um, an unclear idea of the design of the play. Um, for example, I once saw a production of uh, King Lear uh, that was set in Japan, and I never really figured out why. Um, something that sort of stands out to you like that. And finally, generally bad actors, or actors who seem under-rehearsed or over-rehearsed. Yes, you can over-rehearse actors and make every moment in the play stale. Um, by sort of forcing them to go through the motions over and over again. And you can under-rehearse them and they may not know any of their lines. Um, so there's just some ways for a critic to spot bad directing in a play.